Hello everyone, we will continue the topic standard text and in the previous video, we discussed about the tables of the standard text. We discussed about the function modules of the standard text. Now in this video, we will understand more better how standard text is getting stored into these tables with the help of these function module and how standard text is reading from these two tables with the help of this function module. So what I will do, I will go to SO10 transaction code. This is our SO10 transaction code. Now we will understand more better. Suppose I'm giving some name to the standard text. Suppose I'm saying Z text underscore two. I will click on to create button. In the previous video, when we created, yes, we checked into the tables. Now we will see how SAP is calling this function module to save into standard tables. I will simply, simply write some text, go to change editor. Suppose I am writing order details. Now, before clicking on to save button, I will show you in the debugging mode, how SAP is calling this function module to save that data into these two standard tables. You all know, what is the transaction code to own the debugging slash H put enter. So you are debugging switched on. Now you can go for save. Now I will put a break point on the function module save underscore text. I will go to desktop three most preferable desktop. Now, if you want to put a breakpoint on the function module, anyways, in that debugging playlist, I clearly explained all these topics, but whatever the knowledge is required, you can refer this also. So how you can put a breakpoint? Breakpoint. Breakpoint at function module. I will put a breakpoint on the function module save underscore text. So I'm showing you how SAP is using this function module to storing that data into standard tables. And now I will do F8, continuous execution. And you can see now I'm inside the function module save underscore text. Just see the header. If I will click on to header, it is a importing. Importing means input. Click on to header and just see this is what you all, what we all passed. What is the name? Z text underscore two. What is the text ID? ST. What the language we gave? English. What is the name of the text object? Text. So SAP simply, simply passing these all things to save underscore text function module. In this function module, SAP has written the logic to send that data to these two tables, header and item table. Now, if I will simply, simply do F8, now you can see this data will save into these two tables. If I will go to this header table, rest all things are same. Now the text name is Z text underscore two. So now you can see this is the entry in the header table and this is the entry in the item table. If I will put here this two text, English, ST, English. Now you can see we have an entry into item table. Now I will show you the next process. Now this is save process. Similarly, we have display process also. Similarly, we have read also. Suppose simple example. If I will go to SO10 transaction code, we put these things. Whenever we will click on to display button, 
how SCP is displaying order details. It means SCP will simply, simply go to this header and item table and SCP will bring the text order details that is visible to us. Now SCP has already written the logic in which function module read underscore text. It means SCP is using this function module to show us the data. Now I will show you in the debugging mode this process also. So I will go to SO10 transaction port. Now, before clicking on to display button, I will on that debugging. I will put slash H. Now I will click on to display button. Now I will go to this particular breakpoint, breakpoint at function module. I will go to desktop three. Breakpoints, breakpoint at function module. Now I will put a breakpoint on which function module now? Read underscore text because now we are reading. Now we are displaying. I will go for execution. Now you can see I am inside the function module read underscore text. Just see what the input. What is the ID? S. What is the language? English. What is the name? Set text underscore two. What is the object? Text. So SCP is passing all these four things to which table? Header table and item table. So in this function module, SCP has written the logic for header and uh, item table to fetch that data. Now, if I will show you the out, I am doing F7. So it will return. So that I can show you the output. This function module executed and we got the output. If I will show you in lines, if I will double click, have you seen what is the text order details? This is the output which we are getting. Now, if I will simply, simply do F8, so we will get the order details. So this order details we are getting and how, how we are getting we are simply getting with the help of read underscore text function module. So it's a, not a magic or something, it's just logical. While saving, SAP is using the function module save underscore text. And in that function module, SAP has written the logic to save the data to these two tables. While displaying, SAP is using this function module to read the data from these two tables. So many times people ask, can we put a query on these two tables to uh, can to read the data from these two tables or can we directly modify these two standard tables? Do not do all these things. Always SAP provided the function module will simply, simply use that function module itself to save this function module and to display this particular function module. Now in the next video, we will again understand so much concept. And after that only we will start with the practical part. So that's it in this video. Thank you.